What is up guys, it's Premium Rat here and finally we're back with Series 2 of my Road to Glory on FIFA 12 Ultimate Team. Um, this series I'm going to be making myself a Russian League squad. Um, first of all, I highly recommend you go and watch my first series if you haven't already um, and if you're new to my channel then please subscribe. So as I said, we're going to make a Russian League squad. This is going to be kind of weird for you because you probably would have seen a Brazil squad but that sort of, the file fucked up so I don't know what that, um, so luckily I had a couple of like series stored up so this is going to be the one you watched anyway so that you, if you're wondering why we had so many coins to go and buy our um, informed Dumbia there it's because um, it was like three series long so we stored up all the money and obviously bought a massive player to start the series off but anyway um, our first game in this series, we came up against this guy who had an all-Irish squad, I believe, but um, it didn't take us long for Dumbia to break the deadlock on his debut. A nice little forward touch, um, knock it, uh, like a heavy touch forward, and then smash it home past the keeper. Then a nice little one-two between Wooten or Woten or something, I don't know, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. He's definitely English, plays at centre mid, um, between him and Dumbia, and Watson went through to make it 2-0. Then this guy was a bit of a prick and brought on Tarapt and Tosic, so... Either he was just um, putting a whole bronze squad out and trying to look for people like me that uh, had just opened their starter pack, but unfortunately came across me who had a fucking informed Dumbia, so it didn't really work out for him. And then Dumbia made it 3-1 with probably one of the luckiest goals I've ever seen on FIFA. The, it broke to him about three or four times and he couldn't finish it, and then eventually dropped one last time and he smashed it home into the top right-hand corner. I gave him a little bit of shh because he uh, brought on Tarapt and Tosic, but that made it 3-1, and that is how it finished. Even though you can see there, Dumbia got two goals, he really wasn't playing that well. So I thought maybe buying another striker up front straight away would help him out. So I went and bought myself an Oberfemi Martins, who plays for Ruben Kazan, I believe. He's got 92 pace, so he's fucking lightning. And then we jumped into our second game of this episode. And we came against this guy who, I think it must have just been his first like team he got out of a starter pack. But anyway, Martins on his debut, some beautiful dribbling and a lovely finesse into the bottom corner and that made it 1-0 after about 15 minutes I believe and then Dumbia made it 2-0 a nice little fake shot back inside a step over to leave the defender on his ass, and then he finessed it home into the bottom corner to make it 2-0 after 27 minutes I think that is there and then Dumbia was in the action again unfortunately this time he couldn't slot it away but um, we did manage to get a penalty see there the defender absolutely clattered us after the uh, after I'd shot after the, I got the shot away so um and as some of you guys may know, if you've watched my first series, um, I really wasn't great at slotting pens um, with like Briand or Remy because I made a French league team. And yeah, it kind of uh, carried over to this series as well. So um, you're going to expect to see loads and loads of uh, missed misplaced penalties in this series. There, I thought Martins had scored an absolute screamer straight away, but um, unfortunately not. I watched it in the um, highlights like thing at the end, and it definitely looked like it went over, but um, unfortunately not. And then there, he had a nice little throw in, crossed it in, and somehow his defender got a uh, striker got ahead to it. I thought uh, keeper may have saved that, and I think it might, might have been time to buy a nice little keeper after this game. And then Dumbia went through, nice little one-two, and he's going to finesse those home every day. And then again to make it four-one, identical to the last goal. Dumbia went through, and I thought about finessing it into the bottom right corner, but then I thought differently and smashed it home into the bottom right, and that made it four-one. And then again. Dumbia went through, but unfortunately this time he couldn't go through, but um, he got his man sent off. But So by the time he's, he got his, uh, this bloke sent off, his, I think it was a centre-back, So, but it was um, pretty much the end of the game anyway. Um, and then we did manage to get another one. Martins was in acres of space, and he's just going to finesse that home all day long. And that made it 5-1. As you can see there, Martins getting two again, and Dumbia getting another hat-trick. So as I said, after this game, our, keeper look, our bronze keeper looked a bit um, shoddy, so we went and bought ourselves an Akim Thieve, who plays for CSK Moscow, I believe, same as Dumbia. Um, the thing with the Russian league is um, you can get such highly rated players. You can see there, like, Akim Thieves and rated 84, I think, which is the same as Reina, but Reina's like a 5 or 6K. But you can see there I bought um, Akim Thieve for like a K. Then I went to my final game of the episodes. Fuck knows how that guy had 100 chemistry. Um, I think it was like an Italian like national team he was making but then he had a South Korean cam and an Austrian striker which is kind of funny so but anyway another top ball from Dumbia left uh, Martins to get absolutely crunched by the keeper again and you know you, you can tell what's going to happen already guys you know like I'm shit at pens so basically you can you're going to watch in a minute that um, Dumbia unfortunately I think it might have been like I was like fucking hell I need to slot this pen but unfortunately we didn't 
um, as you can see, as, as as I said, you can um, you, you'll be seeing loads and loads of uh, missed penalties during this series. He did manage to take the lead then with Foti, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure what nationality he is. Um, he might be the Austrian striker, in fact, and that made it 1-0 with a header. And then just after the second half, this guy was being a bit of a prick, passing it around the back, but I thought, put the pressure on and he might fuck up. So Dumbia, the poacher, the stalker, was on hand to just tap that home. Again, a little bit of a lucky goal here from him. A nice save by Akinfi, but then he got a nice little Sam 5000 rebound. And he put it home and that made it 2-1. And then within the space of about 10 minutes here, this was the fourth goal. Dumbia over the top ball from Martins and he absolutely smashed it home. Top corner to make it 2 all. That was just after uh, about 55 minutes gone. So it wasn't too long after half-time. And then again, we took the lead. Martins went through and because this guy was being a prick, usually I wouldn't tramp it, but... I had to. I was trying to secure the win, so Dumbia made it um, three-two. I think that was. Is that? The, I can't really see. I'm watching it in the preview box. I'm not sure what the time was. But anyway, unfortunately, we didn't get the win. Even though I did tramp it, so I was probably being a bit of a prick in this game. But um, he managed to equalise. I thought Akin Fever would save that, but somehow Cannavaro got his head on it, and that made it three-all. So we were kind of kind of silly, but um, to throw away the lead. But it was unfortunate anyway. And that is how it finished, guys. 3 all. Um, as I said, if you haven't watched my first series, um, then I highly recommend you go and watch that. Um, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you liked the video, then a thumbs up would be fantastic. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. And hopefully you enjoyed. And the next series, um, episode will be out in a couple of days. So apart from that, I'll see you guys on my next episode. Bye.